Hey, welcome back to another video for our chessboard application. As I promised in the last video, we're going to do some printing now. So let's go into our program, CS, and let's start doing some coding here. Now the first thing I'd like to do is set up a plan for what our application will do. What is the flow of the program? First of all, we're going to display an empty chessboard, just, just because we can print an empty chessboard. Second, I'm going to ask the user for two numbers. I want to have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. And this is where the piece will be placed on the board. Then we'll use the method that's in the board class to calculate all legal moves for that piece. And so as we showed in the previous video, we'll ca calculate that for the knight. In this program, we'll come back here and we'll print the chessboard. So I'm going to use an X for the character for an occupied square, a plus for a legal move, and then a period for an empty cell. Lastly, we'll ask the user to press enter, and then the program will close. Okay, so let's get started on this coding here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to create a new instance of the class called board. And I'm going to name it my board, and I want to create a new one with size 8. And you can see that as soon as I try to type these things in, we have some errors. It says, I can't find board. So there's several things that we need to do here, first of all. So we need to add a reference here to our chessboard console app. So let's go to add and choose a reference and make sure that this is checked here where it says chessboard model 2 and then we're going to go back into our cell and board class when I created these I didn't make them a public accessible class so let's put in public in front of here and go into the class cell and also set it to public so now we've got a public accessible class we've got a reference this should work now if we can fix something it says, uh, would you like to see some potential fixes? So let's see, if, I, if I've got those previous things done, I should see an item that says using uh, chess board model two as my uh, solution. So I'm gonna check that. And what that did, it added a line up here at line one. And the, now the board is accessible and we can create a reference to it. So that gives us an outline of where we're headed. So we're going to take this as a short video and move on to the next one where we're going to show the empty chessboard. We're going to ask the user for inputs, calculate, print, and then wait. So all of those things are coming up in the next video.